my hopes in regards to developing this other outlet branch of the director. Hello everyone, I'm Silver Reptile at CLA and welcome to another video, though this video in particular is going to be a very special video, but not fully special, this is partially special considering that this has been transpiring recently, people have been giving it a shot, and of course Nintendo in the past, well actually about a week ago, they've granted us the opportunity to actually give this a trial run, not this, but actually this. I recently pre-ordered it after they it was inside in the aftermath of the Splatoon 3 Direct in regards to the new Splatfest World Premiere of Splatoon 3. People have been trying it out in different time zones, etc. And of course, I woke up this morning coming to find that people actually gave it a shot. They've been blowing up on Twitter in regards to it, and thank goodness I did not run into any crazy spoilers or anything because it would definitely almost like give me in a bit of a low spirited mood if, it, if I did. Because, well, I'm not really into spoilers that much, but it depends. <clears throat> So yeah guys, Platoon 3 Bloodfest World Premiere, that's what's transpiring right now. The real deal will be out in September next month, and I'm super duper looking forward to live streaming it. But for now I want to do a video where I do a little trial run of the Splatfest World Premiere. So yeah guys, getting back to some more Splatoon based content, let alone just animations, getting back to doing some game videos, but like I said, chances are this might be short, I'm not certain, but we're going to try it out regardless because this has been going on for some time now. Well, as of yesterday evening. So yeah, guys, um, for those who are new to this channel, thank you all so much for always for tuning in and of course giving it a very excellent glimpse. If you want to see more content from yours truly, please do not hesitate to blast that subscribe button and turn on the push notification bell. And of course, do not miss me live streaming on Splatoon 3 because that's definitely happening next month. If let's see some more Splatoon 3 based content, please subscribe for more, it definitely helps with the channel and everything else. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this game out, well the trial run first off, and then the real deal. And of course, I just want to give cheers to Splatoon 2 for the amazing great memories that it had led me to see. And this installment was amazing, I never did try the first one fully, I did a little bit in the past but not fully. But I did try Splatoon 2. So now we're moving on to the next installment, which is Splatoon 3, and I'm so pumped to see what they have in store. So without any further ado, everyone, let's commence our trial run video, our trial gameplay video of Splatoon 3, Splatfest World Premiere. And of course, I was told that if this came about, they might transfer most of the stuff we had in Splatoon 2 to the Splatoon 3 installment, let alone just the weapons and things. I'm referring to our gears and our clothing, etc., and other stuff that we have in there and if that's the case then I'm hoping to see my zinc t-shirt, the zinc long tee, my burn bucket tennis shoes, my retro specs and everything else that I bought from the store in the second installment of Splatoon. But either way guys enough of the intro let's transition to Splatoon 3 Splatfest 4 premiere. Time to work. I'm so excited for this already. Oh the tile screen looks divine. Okay, Splatfest region setting. Splatfest are special events where players are split into three teams to battle it out. Each region has its own Splatfests, including content and event times. Please choose which region Splatfests you would like to be a part of. Checking your region. Play in this region in Splatfest the Americas. The setting is for the Splatfest world premiere only and cannot be changed later. Yes. That is correct. The Splatfest region is set to Americas. Oh my! A few inches close to Splatsville. We're already in the long, long west. In the wild west, if you will. Oh my god. Okay, so in this scenario, you choose from Inkling to an Octolink. Considering my areas as of last year, on December, I changed from Inkling to an Inkling. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose either this hairstyle or this hairstyle. I think I'll go with this hairstyle. This is definitely perfect. Alright, skin tone. That would be this eye coloration. Let's check them out. These look so fun. You know? 
I might decide to change my eye coloration in the future for my ankle song. I see they also have the albino pink like coloration of the eyes. That's pretty cool. I'm thinking between this one or the regular blue coloration. You know, I might go with this one. Yep. And of course the cut. Oh my. Now if only they have the uh Let's see. If only they had the Splatoon 3 hairstyles in SFM. I know they have in Gmod, but I really wanted to try out an SFM. If they have any for SFM, I'm definitely trying it out. I'm going to go with the regular Vimo like hairstyle. Then, too, I'm speaking between this or this. This might work. And of course, the brows. Hmm. I'm sticking with these. And lastly, the last thing you like there. I'm going to go with. Hmm. These are some very stylish hair dudes. I mean, stylish leg wear. I'm going to go with this. And of course, to stylize a little more. Well, yeah, I'll just stick with this. I'm so happy with this style. Alright, now to customize my little buddy. This is what we got for him. <laughs> These are funny as heck. I'll go with this one. Yep, all good. Time to rock and roll. Alright, so now, as usual, we go with the tutorial. So the controls are basically the same. You can reset your camera and whatnot. These are motion sensor. I'm very used to going for motion sensor. And of course you got the usual switch and whatnot. Yep. I love the gritty look of my ink sona. Okay, so we found something. What's fine, little guy? Ooh. The splatter shot. Custom splatter shot. Smooth and fresh. Alright. Now we blast the balloon. Oh yeah. Next one. And the next. There we go. Go past these obstacles in the shrimp. Oh yeah. Oh, I consider the uh, dash move. Swing through the grates. Oh, got the other ink colors. This is looking good already. It's just a usual routine when it comes to doing tutorial mode. It's a Nothing too special. And we got the bomb. Oh yes. Now we go sky high. Mm -hmm. All right. Now to go to Splatsville. Here we go. Oh, the train's arriving at last. Oh yeah. The train is here at last. And now onward to Splatsville. There I am just sitting in my spot. My little guy right there. With that gorgeous hairdo, if you will. I think we reached our destination. Oh, the title screen is so clean. And there's an airplane. It's like that one city from one of the Persona, one of the Persona games. Oh shoot, I'm actually nervous to try this out now. No need for hesitation, let's just get to it. Oh! We joined Shiver, Fry, and Big Men. Let's not slowing down. Wrapping the Splatlands, we are deep cut. Okay. Anarchy, thank Anarchy Splatfed. 
Hey, here we go. Drop your lips thing. Drip ink. Hey, hey, hey. Alright. Breaking news, you two. Oh? What's that your friend's luck? Shiver, you gotta know. It's that time. Hey, Splatfest. Mm -hmm. It's time for Splatfest. Ooh, I like Splatfest. Yeah, time to party. Yep. And actually, this is my first time doing the actual Splatfest. I never got to try the Splatfest in the previous installments. What's the theme? What's the theme? Hold your seahorses. The info is still downloading. You already know what it is. Paper, rock, and scissors. I've got it. The theme is, huh? Well, that is fascinating. Ugh. Heard of it and spilled it. You're hogging the Splatfest vibes. Chill. I'm getting ready to announce it. <clears throat> like, come on. Without further ado, this Splatfest theme will be none other than. <laughs> rock, paper, and scissors. Huge news. I got the Splatfest for premier theme. Rock, paper, and scissors. Yes, we'll probably know which one is the all-time winner. Game on. You're ready for Team Rock to show off on a regular world. Better than permanent ink on fancy paper. Team Kicker for the win. Team Suits is the sharpest. Pick up Suits is always the best move. Hold up. There's no such thing as the best move in Rock Paper Scissors. Well, the best move in my opinion is choosing wisely. It always depends on the fortune. Will of fortune, you will. No, but I'm pretty sure I always win when I pick scissors. Um, have you ever heard of rock? It's literally the most salt choice. I broke a rock once. Sell me on this. Rock is a shape of the triumphant fist held high. It's solid, stable, a foundation. It's... I'm gonna stop right there. If that's all you've got, consider me team paper. Paper? Really? Paper can fold into sharp shapes, and you can write devastating things on paper. Not just that, but you can also write musical notes, make musical pieces. Take my stuff, for example, making music and whatnot. I had to go with Fry right there, that's why I chose Team Paper. No, no, scissors are strongest. They're already sharp. No footing required. Not when you take, make scissors out of your fingers. But a rock hand is pure power. But fingers, scissors are complicated. They are. Work your mind and stuff? Do you have fingers? Do you even have fingers? Suddenly you're the finger expert on here. Considering the fact that the big man is holding the TV screen. I made my mind, which is strong, thanks to the finger scissors. Team scissors. Big man. That is the most compelling argument I've heard. I'm sold. <laughs> Whatever. Don't bring weak finger scissors to a rough fight. This isn't a bag. Oh, bags are made of paper. I'm back to team paper. All about that puff life. Scissors make confetti, which I will shower you all with my victory parry. That's all for now. Make sure you get your books in. Don't forget this Splatfest tea. Check the equipment menu after you vote. Okay, that's it for now. Let's get out of here. From Splatfest that's a wrap. See you later. Oh, there's my colorful hairdo look. You know, this actually looks decent for me considering that I'm almost look close to my. Because usually when it comes to the octoling hairstyle, the female octoling hairstyle, the female hairstyle, if you will, it usually like curls upward, but I usually like to I tend to have mine curled downward, so let's go ahead and gaze around this spectacular city of Splatsville and just see what we can find everywhere. Look at these amazing city folk. This is so amazing. So wait, about our stuff being transferred. Ah, uh, we'll find out soon. Whoa, look at this odd-shaped jellyfish head. And you can actually use a camera too, like how you usually use in Splatoon 2. So basically the mechanics are almost correlated to this previous installment of Splatoon, which is pretty cool. Same usual routine and whatnot. Got a majority of players around. I wonder if there are many of my friends in here that I know, well family, Splatoon family rather, that I know around this spectacular place. Oh look! Got the stands and whatnot. Oh, there's a voting there's a voting area. The Splatfest team. You already know what I'm about to go for. For Team Paper! Yep! Thank you so much for the tea. Alright, so here we are again in Splatsville. Team selected, and of course, I think we go to Equip next. Yep. And here's the menu of everything. Whoa! So they do have our stuff from the previous installment. But wait. We got the Splatana, Wiper. So far, I have the Dark Tetradolis, that's another thing. 
I even have the Evo to 4K and the Evo to 4K scope. I also have the Spider Shot Jr. and NZAP and a few other weapon rays that I have from the previous installment, I think. And I even got the one the one and only Tri Stringer along with this amazing arbitrary ink blade, if you will. <laughs> Alright, so we got the weapons there. So let me see if I can find my retro specs. Nothing here either, but I'll get them at some point in time. These Anaki Charms doesn't look too bad, or Invisi Floats? Eh, these look cool too. Must stick with these for the time being, I guess. Alright, now for the shirts. This Black Fist team. Team Paper. All the way. Now, for the shoes. Noramaki, Noramaki, Noramaki. They don't have shrimp in here, but the basic footwear. I guess if I were to choose one piece, piece of footwear, I'd probably go with the either this or the UGLS. Let me look around first before I go, go any further. Hmm. I'll go with the Eject 30 xx Alright, that's out of the way. Now for the emotes. Oh! Okay, I see you. Me. <laughs> so we got all this stuff going on. Even the... You know, I think I'll change weapons. Let's see what I can go for it this time ago. I think I'll start with the... Hmm. This might come in handy. Yep. Here it is. So that happened. And now we move on to... Well... This is just a trial run, so I think that's all you have to do, I guess. I don't know, but let's look around before we go in, before we end the video. <clears throat> okay, so this is Harmony of the Hot Lantern. Oh! You have to be level 4 to shop here. Oh, okay. Quite an enticing place here. Let's look around the area. I think you have to do be level, level 4 for the other places too, but just to be, just to be sure. Alright. So here I am. Just swimming around like a free Octo. Looking around the place. Let me in the training room. Yeah, I feel the same thing too. Whoa, this place is humongous compared to Incopolis Square. I mean, let's be real, it's a little. Incopolis Square is a little small compared to any other place. Dude, this is a wide. Whoa, what is that? That's. I'm not certain what that is. I think that's where they. Oh, wait, this is where they do this Black Fest parade, I guess? I don't know. This is so surreal. Truly amazing. I still do my usual hop. And of course, being cheerful when it comes to hopping in octo form. Or inkto form, rather, as well. I have the inkling eyebrows. I have the octoling hairstyle. And everything else. And this is... This is very dope. So we got uh, a lot of great stuff going on. Rock will be seating over paper chat. <laughs> I mean, no matter what team you choose, the way I say it, no matter what team you choose, best of luck to everyone, right? It doesn't matter who wins, as long as you guys have a great time. That's the way I see it. Go Rock. I wish you good luck on Team Rock. Oh yes, I'm excited too. Everyone's going for Team Rock, I'm going for Team Paper. And I'm also going for Team Scissors, I'm sure. But hey, it doesn't matter which team you choose, as long as you're still having fun. Alright, so I'm, I seem to have wandered off into the area where I saw, where I assume that they do the parades and such. This area kind of correlates with Incopolis Square just a little bit, considering that you have the barricade right there and some of this that kind of relates to the square. And everything looks so amazing here. We got a lot of amazing people here, and the whole entire place looks very scenic, and I cannot wait to try it out come the time to release fully. Oh, and there's a pipe where you, uh, I guess that comes out when the full release is imminent. Which is good. Gotta love these squid phones. This is very dope. I wish they had, like, cell phone cases for our cell phones, depending on what size we have, what phones we have. Alright, so I think that's about it. We've actually gazed through every location in the, like I said, for every shop you go to, you have to be level 4 to enter shop. So, once Splatoon 3 releases, I will definitely live stream it. So guys, I think that's about wrapping up my video. My partially special video, if you will, considering that it is still happening. We're just getting a little taste of what's to come forth, come the time that Splatoon 3 releases. 
So yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button because we are keeping going on. and please bless and that subscribe button if you're new with the notifications on and please share this video for those who love Splatoon. It definitely helps the channel and please make sure you are subscribed with the notifications on so you won't miss any Splatoon 3 live stream that I do when Splatoon 3 releases. So yeah guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. And of course, keep us up to date my social media and Twitch channel links in the description. Before I go, I want to say something real quick. Again, no matter what team you choose, as long as you're having fun, it doesn't matter who wins. You'll still get great stuff for participating in this Black Fest. That's how I feel. So yeah guys, with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys to it. That being said, there are more to come soon. This is Reploid slash Interlink himself, Silver Reploid Zelda. Might change my eyewear in the near future, but hopefully they have retro specs I'll go with them. And of course, the other old usual gear that I wore on the previous installment. Anyway, guys, love you to the fullest, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a listen, safe Thursday, everyone, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay blessed, warm, loved, safe, quarantine, fresh in the flesh, and off the hook, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye, everyone. Love you. Oh, I almost forgot that I can actually uh, do the mailbox where I can make drawings and whatnot and post them on social media. I might need to do that on my handheld uh, version of the Switch, but you'll definitely see that when I. For those who see me in Splatoon 3, you'll definitely see me with my own personal posts and whatnot. So, yeah, guys, I might post them on Twitter and, of course, probably on YouTube as well. So, yeah, with that being said, let's wrap up this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys, Silver Reploid CLD here. I want to thank all of you for watching this video. Please smash on the like button, subscribe for more content if you're new, and please turn on the push notifications. And also, please make sure you check out my other videos or any video on display and show tons of love and support for not only me, but to those who are also involved. Have a great one, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!